Hello and welcome to part two of Jay's Way's 15 Tips for Q4. Use the best and most obvious long tail keywords at the start of your title. This is twofold. One, because Etsy weighs the first few tags in your title more heavily. And two, so that when you show up in search results, customers can see that they've hit the nail on the head. Put your tags in the description, which has always been indexed by Google, but now also plays into Etsy's algorithm as part of your overall shop relevancy score as of like four or five months ago. So tip number five, having a bit of struggle with tags and SEO? Use Everbee to show what tags your competitors are using. This is a really cool feature. You can check my link in the description. And Sales Samurai to show how many searches are happening monthly for those specific terms and how many listings are currently in existence using those terms. Link below for 20% off Sales Samurai too. So check that out. It's a pretty cool Chrome extension. Number six, tangent tests for trademarks. Just because everyone else is doing it does not make it okay. You're gonna get kicked off the platform eventually and worse even, maybe even sued. And yes, an infringement case against you can force Etsy to show all the sales you've had in the past and whoever sues you could possibly even sue for potential sales or damage to their brand. So keep your nose clean. All right, I just wanna give you a quick uh, rundown on this awesome little Chrome extension here called uh, tangent tests so let's say we want to do some shirts like um, most likely to shirts like most likely to succeed or most likely to eat Santa's cookies or something like that they're kind of trending right now so I'm gonna type that in and you can see uh, sales samurai co coincidentally doing its thing so it's most likely to shirt is being searched 452 times per month so uh, you can see here in the search results now we've got most likely to get all of us arrested. That's kind of funny. Most likely to go home early. These are great, you know, bachelorette party shirts, as it says. Most likely to custom shirts. So yeah, that's a great idea. You can add whatever you want. Leave that up to the customer. You know, probably guarantee some good sales. The first thing we have to do is make sure that it is not trademarked. So what I would do is go over here and click this tangent test Chrome extension. It's a neat little extension. I would just go to test trademark search and you can see that it's already selected clothing and it's got the exact match box ticked as well. So I'll just paste that in there and then I'll search and it brings up the most likely to trademark. Uh, so what this is here is an application. It's a filing. You can see filing date as September 14, 2022. So it's very recently filed. And live dead indicator is live, meaning it is being processed in time. And with a trademark registration, the, the key here is that we don't have a registration number. So it is not registered yet. It does take between eight and 12 months on average to, I know it's a big spread, but on average to get a trademark registered. So by you know August next year, 2023, this probably would be registered if there was sufficient evidence and the USPTO, US Patent and Trademark Office, did not decline it for whatever reason and that this uh, applicant can prove that it indeed functions as a brand. Seeing as this is a widely used common phrase, this would classify as a frivolous attempt at trademarking a bunch of words that many people use in order to gain some kind of monopoly on the industry you're selling it. So what I recommend is you join the trademark watchdog group here. You can go into the files and you can see all kinds of tips and tricks to learn about trademarks. Uh, you can go into discussion here and you can see all kinds of stuff going on. It's a very active group. You can learn about how to fight people trying to register frivolous trademarks. So again, this Tangent Test Chrome extension is free. I don't know who these people are, but thank you for creating it. If you ever watch this, I was put onto this about five years ago. It's been kind of uh, an easy go-to since. Just to point out, it won't always bring you right to a search result. It just happens to be that there is only one result. So like if we did a, a famous one, for example, 
search there. So yeah, this brings up two. So there is one registered and one that is not. Typical results would have maybe two or three or four or more, sometimes hundreds. And the only ones you care about are the live ones. So you would click here and you can see that the owner is the registrant, which is Nike Incorporated. Be careful, check it out join this group and hopefully fight frivolous trademarks. So that concludes this particular tip. On to the next one. Tip number seven, use all your listing photo real estate. Are you struggling to figure out something to use up more, you know, listing photo real estate? You can list different color variations of that design. You can link them in the variations menu so that when they pick a different color from the drop down menu, corresponding image with that particular color selection, color of shirt, shows up, it automatically switches. You don't have to have many, but two or three of your most popular ones is always a good idea. You can also put a review in there or something, or put a QR code that directs people to your email list or sign up link, a shot of your social media handles, right? All the, you know, the Instagram, TikTok, whatever you're doing, right? Maybe something about a Kaji support or a way that your stuff contributes to a cause or something, or maybe a process shot, tongue twister, process, shot of your design in the works what i call whips which is w-i-p which stands for work in progress maybe you could put something in progress shot of that maybe with you included in the item you know i talked about my kind of stage fright but people love seeing the maker and maybe something about how you're using equal friendly inks or something or a reminder note about processing times return policies or any other information how to take care of the garment washing instructions and be sure to brand each photo card that you're using so that it looks cohesive. Tip number eight is to A-B test. A-B testing as it relates to Etsy is having two items listed concurrently with different elements. At first glance, it'll look different. Different keywords uh, in the same niche and different initial listing photos. So they look, you know, different if they, you saw two items side by side, like a uh, flat lay over here versus a uh, lifestyle mock-up for your first photo, both of which you can find here in Placeit. And I have a link in the description to it as well for a bit of a break on the pricing. This is the fastest way to learn which keywords and listing photos are actually working. If you struggle with SEO, this is the best way to test what's working or not. If you hit a golden unicorn keyword, add it to similar simu, add it to similar listings. Add it to similar listings. If you niche down a bit, you know, it'll be something you're definitely gonna want to do, right? The second bonus with this is that they'll both get the honeymoon boost in Etsy's algorithm. Much like you know, renewing a listing kind of gets a little one. Creating new listings get that honeymoon boost, they call it, which helps to ensure maximum potential of your listings getting seen. The third benefit is you'll have added twice the amount of listings already. So if you're your new shop starting out and you want to get a couple extra listings or hooks in the water, so, like, so to say, it gives you two instead of one, which gives you twice the opportunity to get clicks and sales. And that concludes part two of my four-part series on tips for Q4 that you can action now. You can catch the next one here and you can catch the previous one here. See you in the next one.